part of this group, this organization, to be able to play with this woman, um, these women. I think it's it's. I'm so fortunate to simply continue, and I think there's it's. You should never overlook that. And so, uh, yeah, you know, you, we've all worked hard to get to this point. And there's a lot of people who worked hard and don't, and don't have this opportunity. And so I'm aware of that, and I'm I'm very grateful, and I'm not gonna waste this opportunity. And so um, I give thanks every single day that the Sparks believe in me, that the coaches do, that Penny does. And so I'm I'm excited to to progress and continue to work um, and see what we can do this year. Do folks at Oregon State keep up with you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, what's, they what's do. That, what's, that, what's that support like? Yeah, I mean, um, Oregon State fans, Beaver Nation, they, they mean the world to me, and it's like family. Um, you know, they're, they're extended family. I still t I stay in touch with my coaches. I stay in touch with some of the girls. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I have our fans um, that reach out on Twitter, on social media. Um, I have I stay in touch. I have some people's numbers, and so it's really cool uh, to see their support, not only for me, but um, my teammate Marie made it on Atlanta, and so they're really aware, and they stay up with us, and even if we weren't on a team, they care about who who we are as people and so it's really cool to have a community around us no matter what we're doing. How do you anticipate this team looking different on the court this year? Um, I think last year it was every season comes with lessons and so I think we have a, a really mature group that puts those lessons to use and so um, the season is going to be full of adversity things that are out of our control um, and we're going to handle it and so uh, it's a roller coaster but I think we're going to stay steady um, and just try and work as hard as we can. I think we're going to take pride on the defensive end, uh, get a lot of stops, make it tough with the other team and then you know who we have on the roster offensively. I mean anyone's a, th a threat out there and so uh, I think you know the first couple games is going to be important to get to know each other, get to get into a rhythm, get into a flow, uh, make each other better and then continue to build on that as the season goes on. How important is that experience sort of? A lot of teams, a lot of talent, but, yeah. but there's some special experience in this team. Like Absol this. Absolutely. You can't substitute experience. There's certain lessons that you have to go through as an individual, as a group, um, that pays off. And you can sort of tell that throughout different teams. You can tell who's been there, who's been through the wars, and who hasn't been there yet. And so I think um, with Candace, with AB, um, NECA, I mean Chelsea, everybody who's been here for an extended period of time, um, they've been teaching us um, as the younger ones. And we've been learning on the fly too, and we've been going through wars ourselves. And so I think it's really cool to put that together um, and to not waste any type of lesson, but to make sure that we use that going forward. Um, Sydney, for you specifically, have you been made aware on um, what your role would be nice night tonight? Um, I think. I haven't been completely aware of it because I've been playing one through three in the preseason. And so now that Chelsea's back and then you have Alexis who is more of a one, um, it, it's really going to depend on what the, the situation the game is calling for. And so I'm prepared to do one through three. If they need a four and five, I'll be ready for that too. I think it's that Coach Fisher has been really emphasizing there's no positions. It's a positionless offense and he wants us to be versatile and be able to execute and know the plays, not only to help each other, but if we do get put in that position, we can execute it and we don't miss a beat. And so I haven't heard specifics. I don't really think I will, which is fine because you got to be prepared for anything. We, we've only been really focusing on ourselves. Um, you have Asia, you have Liz, you have Kelsey Plum, you have Kayla McBride. I mean, there's Every team is talented, and so uh, you sort of have a general idea of what each person can bring to the table. Uh, this early in the season, it's tough to know sets offensively, what their, their their goals are defensively. You learn that in like the first two minutes, though, and so I think we're focusing on us, making sure our, our foundation is sound, and that whatever's thrown at us, we'll be able to adjust from there. So Derek's been big on communication for you guys, and we see you guys out there, like that is NECA, Chelsea, everyone's talking. Yeah. Is, is, is that a change? Is that is that a good thing? Like, how do you? Put, it's always a good yeah. thing. It's a partnership out there. Obviously, Coach Fisher, he's he's at the helm. Um, you listen, he has the final say, but he really wants it to be a partnership, and he wants to hear uh, from us as players what we see out there because we're the ones out there um, on defense, on offense. And so he's willing and open to hear um, any adjustments that we might be able to make, um, and he wants to make sure that we do this thing together. So he's been really intentional in being open with us, talking to us, um, and then giving us his honest feedback. So it's been really healthy. Time for one more. Time for one more. Can, can, I, can I ask about Marina and just kind of what you've seen from her? Just, yeah, absolutely. Marina, um, she is a competitor. Uh, she's fearless. I mean, coming in as a rookie, um, and she she didn't change. I mean, if you watch her at Notre Dame, she played the exact same way in training camp and in the preseason games here. So she earned her spot. Um, she's scrappy, both ends of the floor. She's savvy on defense. 
Um, she knows how, how to slice through defenses uh, to score those crazy layups. And so um, I'm really I'm happy for her, and she's earned the spot. Um, and it's not easy. I mean, there, like I said, there's a lot of people who could be here right now, not only here but in the league, and there's just not enough room, which is unfortunate. But for Marina to get to this point, to have a chance, just like me, to continue, um, I'm, I'm so happy for her, and I, I can't wait to play with her this season. Thank you. Go Sparks.